are the last one, two, three, four, five, six questions. We'll go green. 13 through 16, find six solutions to each equation below. Two solutions should be negative. Okay. So the reciprocal of cosecant is sine, and the reciprocal of root 2 is root 2 over 2. Uh, and if you don't believe me on that, root 2 as a fraction can be written as root 2 over 1. Uh, I'm going to make those arrows. That was bad. Shouldn't do an equal sign if they're not going to be equal. Uh, flip it, you get root 2 on the bottom, under 1, and then rationalize that denominator by multiplying the top and the bottom by root 2, and you get root 2 over root 4, which is just 2. So when you flip that, you do get root 2 over 2. Uh, when is sine root 2 over 2? Sine is root 2 over 2 at 45 degrees and at 135 degrees. Now it says, right, six solutions. So what I'm going to do is add, I'm going to add 360. Um, I'm going to add 360 to 45 plus 360. Um, and I'll make another answer that's coterminal to that, and that would be 405 degrees. Perfect. I'm going to add a 360 to 135 and get 495. Perfect. And I'll switch colors for these last two. Uh, it says make sure two answers are negative. So I'm going to go back to my original angles, 45 and 135, and I'm going to subtract 360 from both of them. 45 minus 360 is negative 315. And 135 minus 360 is negative 225. So those are my answers or at least the most obvious of them. Fantastic. Uh, when is tangent negative root 3? Tangent is negative root 3. To think about this for a second. That's going to be at 120, and that's going to be at, let me think, down low in quadrant 4. It's going to be 300. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to add 360. Uh, 120 plus 360 is 480. And then I'm going to add 360 to 300, and I get 660. Cool. And then I'm going to minus 360. 120 minus 360 is negative 240. And I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit. 300 minus 360 is negative 60. So there we have it. All right, when is sine zero? Uh, sine is up and down. Zero is obviously zero. So we have a couple answers that we can list out right away. We've got zero degrees, we've got 180 degrees, and we've got 360 degrees. Awesome. Um, so then I'll go ahead and add 360 to 180. I guess, and I'll get 540. And that's perfect. Um, now I need two negative answers. 0 minus 360 is negative 360. And 180 minus 360 is negative 180. All right. Uh, when is cosine negative root 2 over 2? Cosine would be left when it's negative, and those are the midpoints. So we're talking about 135 degrees, and we're talking 225 degrees. All right, add 360 to 135, and you get 
495. Add 360 to 225, and you get 585. Uh, minus 360 from 135, and you get negative 225. And minus 360 from 225, and you get negative 135. Nice. For these last two, we're going to need a calculator. And mine is right here. Perfect. So suppose cosine is 0.24. Find all the solutions between 0 and 360. Well, I'm going to go ahead and um, take the inverse cosine of 0.24 to figure out what that answer is. All right, by using that inverse cosine button, it's going to give me the angle that produces a cosine ratio of 0.24. My calculator is in degrees mode, so life is good. All right, so there's one of my answers, 76.1 degrees. Now, there's technically two answers that I need to find, and I like drawing a sketch to figure out where they are. So we're dealing with cosine. Um, we know the cosine is 0.24 over to the right. So that's not that far because on the unit circle, 0.24 is like a quarter of the way over to the right. Um, quarter of the, so like that far to what would be one, which is the furthest over you can go. Right one, we're just right 0.24. So there's an answer there. And then there's an answer down here that's also right 0.24, okay. Um, we found this answer of about 76 degrees. So then the other answer is this angle down here. That's also to the right. My calculator is always going to give me the smaller of the two. It's going to default to something on the top of the unit circle, either in quadrant one or quadrant two. So we just need to use a little bit of symmetry to figure out what that is. Uh, and that's not that hard to get to 76. We went up 76. So this angle being symmetrical would be down 76. So 360 minus 76 is 284. Okay. All right. All right. So we know that tangent is negative 3.4. So I'm going to take the inverse tan of that. Please make sure you are in degrees. You're going to get wrong answers if you're not. You get a 0.48. And interesting, we're going to have to reason through this one. My calculator says, let me just make sure I typed it in right. It said negative 70, basically negative 74. I'm going to round that um, to the nearest tenth, so it'd be 74.0. Um, that answer doesn't fall within my requested range here, so I'm going to have to fix that. Um, so I'll fix that by adding 360. And when I add 360 to that, I get 286. 286 degrees, which on the circle is going to be somewhere down here. Now that's great. Um, where's the other angle? <laughs> um, For sine, it's easy to find the other angle because it's going to be mirrored over on the left or on the right because sine is, is up or down. So if one of your angles is down in quadrant four, the other one's going to be down in quadrant three because you're going down. And then for number 17, we were dealing with cosine. Both angles were to the right, 0.24. Well, it's harder to figure out tangent um, 
But like we always do, let's go back to what tangent is. Tangent is y over x. Um, so we know that originally up here, we were told that the end answer for tan was a negative one. Well, hey, we know where negative tangents live. Negative tangents live in quadrant four, and they live in quadrant two. We talked about that in today's lesson. <clears throat> so uh, where's my other answer? My other answer is exactly opposite of this answer. You see my green answer? That's the one I found, 286. The other answer is on the other side of the unit circle, the exact other side of the unit circle. Um, and if you look back at your unit circle where we have tangents labeled, you'll notice that the root threes are opposite of each other. The positives are opposite of each other, 180 degrees apart. 180 degrees apart, and the root 3 over 3s are 180 degrees apart. The positives are opposites, and the negatives are opposites. So I'm going to just take my answer here, and I'm going to minus 180 from it to figure out what's on the opposite side of the circle from it. I get 106 degrees. So there's an answer, and there's an answer, and I am done. Awesome.